गुड इवनिंग गाइस और स्वागत है आप सभी का एक नए वाले ब्लॉग में आज हम जाने देखने जा रहे हैं एग्जीबिशन हमारे डिपार्टमेंट में तो सीधा जाते हैं पीएचडी ऑफिस के अंदर हाय वितली हाउ आर यू गुड सो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन अस अबाउट योर थर्मोडायनेमिक प्रोजेक्ट टुडे सो वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग थ्री लॉज फर्स्ट इज फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स एंड दिस इज अ थर्मल एक्सपेंशन एंड देयर वी विल डू विद सम इंक एंड हॉट वाटर एंड कोल्ड वाटर वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग द डिफ्यूजन एंड द एंट्रोपी ऑफ द सिस्टम सेकंड लॉ बेसिकली वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग सेकंड लॉ ऑफ द थर्मोडायनेमिक्स सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ वाटर एंड some hot water inside this so when we dip in this bottle into the you can see why this is happening because we are trapping the hot molecule inside this <laughs> we are trapping the molecules inside this so it will convert into heat will convert into internal energy heat is stored into internal energy and it will convert into work so that when we dip in this this balloon expand okay this is not that much hot right now that's why it is not going faster but when we dip in cold water the negative work done happen and the shrink so shrink reverse okay so this is reverse process okay and this is a diffuser so can you pour it in okay, this okay i will show yeah hot okay. water we will put hot water in one big cup from the local garden and they will give the invite number and cold water we will put in another just give me that so what we are demonstrating here is the second law so we are saying the more hotter the water is the more the randomness is and the more the entropy it has so because with increase in temperature the entropy increases so we will take it yeah we will drop same amount of liquid uh, ink at the same time that's why i didn't want to you see it's already see. dissolving but here as you can see it's not dissolving that much faster okay. because here the randomness is very low no. and the diffusion is uh, ultimately very low but here it's already mixed up so here because of the randomness the diffusion increases and because of the high entropy it's uh, readily dissolving in this hot water so uh, so we are saying that in hot water the uh, the entropy is high so it is dissolving really fast so hence we are explaining the second law Okay. Nice, Same. nice one. Okay, thank you. And Everything else is there. Third one is fountain. Yeah. So, okay. Is the mini? You are making a fountain. fountain. Yeah, mini yeah. fountain. Mini fountain. Mini fountain. Mini fountain. Yeah. Basically, we are creating a vacuum inside the bottle. Okay. So we, it is like a same this first law. We are trapping the hot molecules. Okay. So when we are trapping the hot molecules, the pressure is increasing, but it is not that much increasing that atmospheric pressure. Okay. Uh, so when we dip in this cold water a water will flow because of the pressure gradient this will demonstrate the thermal expansion because there is the ac here so this uh, bottle is cooling down much faster okay. otherwise if we do it in a simple atmosphere it will create a bigger fountain so we are here air sealing this container we okay. have a closed system airtight so system. that air tight so that this uh, hot gas molecules they don't uh, you know uh, or escape okay. Click, click, no, click, click. You need any help? No, 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 no. It's fine. Play this.
coming slowly. Okay. Or deep. Or deep, deep, करना था यार. वॉटर and this vapor creates an external pressure and moves this piston okay and this piston will this move this fly wheel via connecting rod so okay. uh, and one more thing is our basic concept okay and uh, we hope that it will work it will take some time to work yeah yeah okay good one hi thanks ronnie bye hi hi lakwinder we have akash and lakwinder over here this is thermoelectric generator okay based uh, on the principle of seebeck effect in this uh, there is a, a cold water in one container and hot water in one container so temperature difference electricity is generated this is uh, not a project this is a demonstration of laws of thermodynamics okay Sorry. the temperature in hot water is 60 degree okay and cold is 0 degree so the temperature difference is uh, around uh, 55 degree 35 or 60 degree okay and for that uh, by that we are producing uh, current temperature difference okay. like how it's working can you explain it yeah. like it now the temperature difference is creating the energy yeah for that we are using thermocouple okay yeah thermocouple pelletier pelletier and by see back effect okay so this material is what in pelletier it is okay. a copper okay and this is a pelletier okay which is made of uh, that palladium uh, and palladium uh, no yeah and okay. uh, that upper layer layer is ceramic okay so that is what is creating yeah. the energy because yeah. of the temperature this, this, difference this is creating the potential difference okay by that the current is flowing okay. the electron is flowing and by that the current is producing okay yeah. good thank you okay thank you guys thank you for demonstrating so you can see here the fan is working because of the temperature difference okay so you are connected two fans here okay good one guys well, keep it up Hi bro. Hi, bro. Hi, how are you? Fine, bro. So, what's your project? This is stirring engine. Basically, this is stirring engine. Okay. And this uses air as its uh, working fluid. Waste air as its working fluid. We know that from industries, mo- uh, much amount of air is getting uh, released, waste. Okay. So we are using that uh, waste heat and uh, we are generating this. Uh, we are recirculating that air itself. So no uh, waste heat is getting released into atmosphere. So basically, this works on uh, four different processes. This is a cycle which works on four different processes: uh, two are isotherms and two are isochoric processes. Okay. Isochoric in the sense um, constant volume. So okay. these two chambers are used to maintain uh, isochore. Like okay. So inside uh, this uh, last uh, chamber, we uh, we maintain it. Inside this last chamber, we maintain a displacer uh, with some clearance uh, between this wall and the displacer, so that the air which gets heated it gets um, increased. Okay. So uh, uh, due to the uh, uh, expansion of air, that uh, uh, displacer gets uh, displaced by uh, some distance. distance. So and uh, uh, this is a cold chamber. Actually, we, we have to keep ice ice in this, ice so in so okay. as to maintain uh, different temperatures. So uh, taking that heat, uh, uh, taking that heat, uh, ice gets cold, uh, ice gets heated, and uh, it converts to water, and that air gets dense. So because of the temperature difference, uh, this uh, actually it will be working, uh, right? Yes. Okay. But we need more heat. More If heat. you use Bunsen burner, it is ro- it will rotate. Rotate. Okay. Mm-hmm. We don't have. The so, so do you have inside now what cold water right? No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. This is the setup. Okay, okay. Have, this is the steel wool. Okay. Which has heat conduction. Okay. So that uh, it will. It will uh, push it like. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Good guys. Thank you. Thank you for the. So we are demonstrating the second law of thermodynamics. Okay. With the help of this pelletier refrigerator. So what? According to the process statement, what is the second law? Second law is that heat can never go from lower to higher without any external source. Okay. So here we are applying voltage as an external source, as okay. you can see. So what is there? As you can see, this is a module, Pelletier module. Okay. Okay. Which has S and N type of uh, series connection. Okay. So if I will show you the illustration of N and P type, is that this is N and this is P. N has a majority of electron carrier and P has a majority of hole carrier. 
so we have this connection positive this is positive that will be negative this is negative that will be positive so electrons flow from negative to positive and whole whole carriers flow from positive to negative so the flow of electron will be in the same direction okay so if the electron flows they will carry heat with them also okay so this heat will transfer to this hot surface and they are taking away from the, so they are going this side so this surface will become cold cold so these are the two ceramic plates over here okay the ceramic wafers which you can say made of aluminium okay. so one will one plate will become hot, hot another one is become, cold will become cold so this is the main thing we are trying to show so that vertical plate you just saw, saw this is that is the vertical plate okay okay so you can remove it ha ha yeah definitely you can remove it okay. so see this is that plate here Okay. Module, okay. And these actually, are your P A type and N type. You are saying. P A and N type are inside this. Okay. You can't see actually. Okay, okay. So uh -huh. it has been in, in between these two blocks, right? Uh, between this. These, these two ceramics. Uh -huh. Okay. So okay. if you see the nomenclature, this is T E C one two seven zero six. One two seven means there are one hundred and twenty seven types of N N P. Okay. And uh, six is the. It should minimum have six ampere of supply. Supply. And uh, so. So what is an Like an application based. So, like what, where so I'll show you. If we apply the voltage over there, okay. so what will happen? The charge will uh, the charge will flow, mm -hmm. and they will create a heat difference. Mm -hmm. Where the charge will go, that will create a hot surface, and from where it's moving, moving that will become a cold surface. So what we did actually, we connected two fans, one in the cold okay. side and one in the, the hot, hot side. side. like this and this is the thermal paste white white you can see hmm. for the thermal conductivity and we connected it see and what happened after we switching on the voltage we will you will get a uh, heat uh, heat charge and you will get a cold charge ha uh, so what we did with the help of this thermocouple we tried to measure the temperature difference Fridge. so uh, it's actually switched off but still you can see it's 25 so 25 and 26 okay. 25 was the cold chamber and 26 but okay. the actual difference can go from 44 to 26 even from 16 to 24 So uh, it was on, and if you connect this, connect this module directly to the plate. Blade. Hot side will go up to 44, and cold okay. can go up to 16. So this is what we try to show okay. the low temperature to the high, high temperature, temperature with the help of external circuit. So the uh, this N N P type are made of bismuth and tin, hmm. and uh, what do you see? This is the thermal refractory. Okay. This is the thermometer made of thermal refractory material. Okay. And the ceramic, I told you, the ceramic wafers are made of aluminium. Yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for demonstrate about the spontaneity of the reaction. So using the second law of thermodynamics and electrochemical reactions. Okay. So for that we are first prepare the electrochemical cell using this is the Daniel cell setup using a copper sulfate and zinc sulfate solution okay. and copper electrode and zinc electrode. We are connected through the salt bed. This. Uh, This is made up of KCL liquid, uh, KCL solution. This is the why we are using this is because of um, transfer of the ions, ions to from year to year. Okay. So here uh, electrons will go from year to year. Okay. So that uh, there, it will be some uh, difference in the voltage will be there. So that we can measure using the multimeter potential meter. Here we are getting the difference here one point zero eight seven volts. So this is approximately standard uh, electro difference okay. like one point one. Okay. So uh, <coughs> so we want to uh, from this uh, this we are getting the voltage now. So using this equation we are calculating the delta G value. Okay. From delta from G here you, you get the uh, delta e G values you are getting, right? No, no. Actually we are getting E not value, E cell value. Okay, okay, okay. E cell so, value. So you calculate the, the delta, delta G, G if free energy uh, from this. If the delta G okay, is okay. negative, it is spontaneous. spontaneous. If it is uh, Positive, it is non-spontaneous. So that is so, how it is. Ah, uh, this is uh, we we what we observed today. See, this is we prepared yesterday. Okay. This is we prepared initially. Today, initial, today only. Okay. So when so reaction difference like uh, so color, color is different. That okay. means reaction is spontaneously continuous. Oh. Uh, reaction is going on. So that's why we are uh, changing. changing the color. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for explaining.